friends, this video on kinetic theory part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 12 before going ahead with part 13. So we will first fo we will focus on mainly kinetic theory of an ideal gas. That means we will completely assume that the gas follows the ideal gas equation. So before we start with kinetic theory of an ideal gas, we will first look at the basis of kinetic theory. It says molecules of a gas are in incessant random motion colliding against each other and with the walls of the container. As we already discussed that molecular nature of matter was the basis of kinetic theory. So even in case of an ideal gas, the basis lies in the fact that the molecules are randomly moving, they are colliding with each other and also with the walls of the vessel containing the gas. All collisions involved are elastic. So this is basically an assumption that all the collisions are elastic as a result of which the total kinetic energy is conserved and the total momentum is conserved. We know that in case of an elastic collision, the total kinetic energy and the total momentum before collision is equal to the total kinetic energy and the total momentum after collision. Right? So this was the basis of the kinetic theory of an ideal gas. So what is basically that which kinetic theory talk about. So what does kinetic theory talk about? So kinetic theory basically tells, at, tells that at ordinary temperature and pressure, the molecular size is generally very small when compared to the intermolecular distance. In case of a gas, the molecules are quite far from each other, right? The molecules are far apart. And the size of the molecules are very small when compared to the distance between them. As a result, their interaction between the molecules are negligible. Now, if there is no interaction between the molecule, there will be no force which will be acting on the molecule because it is not interacting with anything. So in that case, the molecule should move freely along straight lines following Newton's first law. Remember Newton's first law, right? It says that an object at rest will be at rest and an object at motion will be in motion as long as some external force is applied on that object. So here also, if you apply the same logic, if a molecule is not interacting with any other molecule, that means there is no barrier to its motion. So if that molecule starts moving, it should keep on moving in a straight line because there is nothing which can stop it. So if that was that is the case, then it should all be, then all the molecules should smoothly move along straight lines. But sometimes what happens is when the molecules come closer, they experience intermolecular forces. When they come quite closer, they experience forces and as a result of that, they change their velocities. Now this phenomenon is basically known as collision where two, or two molecules collide and there is a change in velocity of the molecules. For example, you see this scenario. Let us suppose these are some molecules. Now if they are not interacting, they just move in straight lines. But if you see when they collide, they collide and then their velocity changes. <clears throat> right? So this is, the, this is basically what the kinetic theory talks about. It talks about the fact that inside the, it talks about the basis, the molecular structure of the gas which is responsible for the truth of this theory. Using this theory, we will derive an expression for pressure of an ideal gas and we will also see how is temperature interpreted by kinetic theory. So I hope by now you understood what basically kinetic theory wants to prove. It just wants to show the behavior of gases on the basis of the fact that gases are made up of molecules which are continuously and randomly moving inside the gas. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, 
get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.